to my channel. My name is Casey and I will be doing videos on style tips and fashion and I'm really excited to get into today's video. So if you're new here, please subscribe. I will be uploading more videos on my channel on these topics and today I'm going to be giving you 11 different looks. I'm going to give you three different variations of the t-shirt. I'm going to give you a bodysuit, a peachy colored tee, this one. I didn't actually do any of that. I don't know why I said that. One, and then I'm going to show you how to tie a tee. We're going to get into all that. So, let's get started. And we're going to start off with these, this plain white t-shirt and these dark wash Madewell jeans. These are the Madewell slim straight jeans and they come a little bit up higher onto the waist. My belly button is right about, right about here and this is what they look like on the back. We're looking a little bit plain, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a few different little accessories to go with this, just to jazz it up a little bit, give it a little more variation. 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 Is that a word? I don't know. I'm gonna start us off with these. These simple gold hoops. Ooh, y'all like that ASMR? These simple gold hoops from Madewell. And I really love these. I like to pair them a lot with plain white t-shirts. The high. These go with pretty much every outfit. I pretty much wear these every single day. So I'm gonna do these. Let's see if I can do this on the camera. I'll be a pro. I don't have my glasses on or anything. If I can get this done without my glasses. Oh, babe. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Boom. Here they are. <laughs> and we're going to add these simple little black hoops, which black <laughs> gold hoops, which I really love to pair with almost any outfit, really, because they just brighten up the face, especially with a bold lip like this. I'm not going to be doing makeup tutorials. That's just... Little side note, little side note. Okay, I'm gonna pair it with a couple more accessories really quick. So these are, I have three rings from Madewell. I have this one, which has a little clasp. <laughs> not flicking you off. <laughs> I'm not flicking you off, I'm sorry. And I have this one with a little leather little piece right here that I really like. So all three of these are from Madewell. I did spend a little bit of money on these, but they're just simple um, little rings that make a statement. I like to wear multiple rings, so if that's not your thing, just go with this one. Um, this keeps it really simple if you're not like a multi ring kind of person. So to finish this off, I'm gonna pair it with a necklace and a pair of shoes. And these are my favorite shoes of all time. These are the Free People Royales. You can see, baby, I, I've been wearing the crap out of these. They look awful on the inside. I need to clean up the leather on them. <laughs> I need to clean up the leather on these. But I should I probably should have done that before I filmed this video. Before I filmed this video. But these are what they look like on pod. And they are super cute and I love these. And these are a bit of a flex because I did spend $150 on these shoes. But I literally wear them every single day so I pretty much think they're worth it now normally I don't condone spending a whole lot of money on outfits because I am all about affordable fashion so mostly on my channel I'm gonna be showing you um, things that I got on sale I don't honey I don't pay full price for anything we never buy anything full price so you're not gonna see that on this channel until Casey starts making a whole lot of extra money and I just happen to be bougie one day but Point blank period, affordable fashion, that's what we're going for. But this jacket is from Lucky Brand, Los Angeles. And this jacket has gotten me through many, many years of lack of self-confidence, which I'm going to teach you about on this channel, how to be more confident in wearing clothes. Clothes. This jacket. So you may be thinking, um, Casey, this is a lot. This is a purple velvet jacket from Lucky Brand and most people don't wear stuff hi most people don't wear stuff like this anymore um, I've actually had this jacket for a really long time but I can't bear to give it away because I've had it for so many years <laughs> And right here, I was just basically explaining how and I didn't dress the same way as other people in college. Who like working socks and Crocs and baggy t-shirts and bang your buns? I just don't. 
care to wear any of that and we're not going to be wearing any of that on this channel so if you like hoodies and sweatpants this channel is not for you i don't wear those things in public never have never will of course i have worn the occasional yoga pant maybe after the gym i've never been to the gym what am i talking about i've never been to the gym but if i were i would wear a yoga pant and like maybe in public for like five minutes but that's about it <laughs> i just i am not gonna be caught dead wearing sweat i'm gonna take a few minutes to give you guys a a confident pro tip i'm gonna my okay so my ears stick out this way that's just how my ears were made so hoops look like this on me that's besides the point confidence pro tip so say you're walking in a store like i did i bought this at tj maxx and i my spirit inside me it just it, this jacket just spoke to me and i was like i have to get this it was twenty dollars i was like i need this jacket and maybe you've spot something like this jacket and you were just like i love it like but eh, i can't pull this off i really can't there's absolutely no way i am pulling this off my tip for this is just to buy it anyway get it and regret it no i'm just kidding just buy it anyway and even if it stays in your closet forever there's going to be a day there's going to be a day where baby i have a dream i sound like martin luther king i have a dream no there is going to be a day when you will not care what anyone thinks and may take years for me it took me very many years to have this to get this through my brain and i simply stopped caring what other people thought and i wore what i loved it will not matter it will not matter it will not matter to you in the least bit and trust me it takes me forever but believe me you will get to that point point. and my motto is is that if i don't feel like a freaking rock star and that i'm about to go out on stage and feel like the most bossy i don't cuss on this channel i'm sorry i'm not gonna cuss in real i, I don't cuss in real life uh-uh i'm I, feeling straight up bossy i'm not gonna wear it i'm just not gonna wear it this video is about how to pair a plain white tee or other plain t-shirts with simple jeans and with other different outfits and accessorizing which is what I'm all about and don't get me wrong I love a simple t-shirt and jeans I do a lot of times I do wear that but I always pull in different accessories that I feel will make the outfit pop or just give it a little pizzazz pizzazz <laughs> pizzazz when you find something like this you better walk out of that you better you better walk out of that store with your head held high because something in your spirit said drew you to this jacket, to this accessory, to these shoes, to these, to these shirts, to this outfit, to this blouse. And trust me, one day you will put this on with confidence. Trust me, trust me, trust me. People may be looking at you and people will think, wow, I, and they'll be thinking the exact same thing that you thought when you pulled out the shirt or the jacket. And they will say, wow, I really wish I could pull that off. She is killing it. And that's how you wear something with confidence. Pro tip number one. Well, now this is an easy one. This is a shawl from Target that I bought um, last year. And it was about $20. Paired it with these Madewell summer jeans. I think they're called the perfect... I think they're called the perfect summer jeans and I like this tone because and I really like to wear this shawl with a lighter jean like such as this one because it really makes the mauve the light toned mauve pop I guess you could call this a light pink but it looks very mauve to me hi is the third fourth outfit now this is a bodysuit so this is kind of like a plain white tee but obviously it's a bodysuit but this is something that I really love to wear it's simple but to add a little bit of flair I like to pair it with this super extra Egyptian woman kind of necklace that I got from buckle and I and I personally don't mind mixing silver this gray tone silver and gold i don't think that's a rule in fashion where you're like oh you can't wear gold you can't wear gold with silver i don't believe that i don't follow fashion rules obviously <laughs> i don't follow most of the fashion rules obviously this is the fifth 
look. Now this is something that I would wear to work. I actually work in financial management. So this is a little bit more classy. Like I said, this is a cotton bodysuit, but I believe if you wear the right accessories and the right pants, you're gonna be able to make this work for work. Now I paired this with some of my great grandmother's, great grandmother? Great grandma. Some of my mother's mothers or my grandmother's pearls, and I really like these. Um, and I think since they're a little bit, they're definitely vintage, so they kind of match the gold a little bit, so it's not too noticeable. Now, if you had like a white, a uh, stark white pearl, well, actually that could work too. A white pearl could work too, but this one just happens to go with my gold accessories right now. And let me tell you about these pants. These pants are uh, corduroy slack from H&M. And I really enjoy these, but we have to sacrifice something. Now, the booty is not going to look good. It's not going to look in these look good in these pants sometimes. So, sometimes we have to sacrifice a poopy booty for the front. The front of it just in the pockets, they just look so professional and so good that I just had to get these. So this is another option that you could dress up for work. Yay. Boom. Next outfit. Now you may be thinking, Casey, you are wearing a fluffy dog, but she's serving almost famous. A little bit of Kate. What's her name? Kate. I paired it with this, these busted me jeans, which I really love, which kind of gives you that rock star vibe that I was talking about. This is a little bit crazy for Georgia, but it does get cold, a little bit cold in March. But this is a great option for if you're going to say a concert and I left the pearls and the hoops on, which I think adds a little bit of more flair. Uh, this needs any more flair. This is a little bit obnoxious. But I love this jacket, it gives me confidence, and it is beautiful. Oh, I forgot about the shoes. These are from Nasty Gal. Sorry about the computer cord right there. But these are from Nasty Gal, and I just recently purchased this. Now they're a little bit high, guys. I can barely walk in these, um, and I'm not going to zip them up because I'm about to take them right back off. But I really enjoy these shoes. <sighs> I am not a professional. I really enjoy these shoes for this look. I think it um, just kind of adds to that rock star flair that I was talking about. For the six, seven, eight, nine, tenth outfit, I have no idea what number we're on, but I changed up the jewelry a little bit. I added these nice little hoops from TJ Maxx, so I can't remember the brand. And then I changed up the rings, this little C ring for my initials. I'm Casey. If you, I'm Casey, in case you forgot my name already. Hi. Please subscribe. Um, and this is a ring I got for $5. It's actually by Rachel Zoe. Rachel Zoe. And I got it from Ross for like 5 bucks. Can you believe that? Um, and it's, it's supposed to be a midi ring, but I just wear it on my pinky because I think it looks really cute. And I can't wait to show you guys this next item because it's one of my favorite things that I've ever bought in my entire years of living. And it, But it is this skirt. And I forget who it's by. But it's a special line at Target that they had many years ago. And it is so beautiful. And it has these beautiful leaves on it. And I am just in love with it. It actually doesn't fit me. <laughs> it actually doesn't fit me at all anymore. It's about three sizes too small. But I just had to show it on here because it's one of my favorite pieces. And that's it for that outfit. Let me move on to the next one. This is something that I really enjoy doing. Um, this is a utility jumpsuit from, oh, this pocket, <laughs> this pocket doesn't even go down. This one does. Okay, we'll just sew this one. Um, this is a cute little jumpsuit that I found at TJ Maxx by Young, Fabulous, and Broke. I really like pairing a white t-shirt under this because I think it just gives it, it just makes it cute, okay? It's like a little bit cute. Yeah, so pairing just a plain white t-shirt with a jumpsuit um, is just a great idea just to give it a little cutesy vibe. Now for the finale. Finale! I'm going to put on one more outfit and I'm going to be showing you my favorite item in my closet. So I had to bring you into the hallway for this bad boy because whew, baby, she needs a hallway runway. We got to do it. We got to do it. <laughs> And that's 
it for today's video guys I hope I hope you guys enjoyed it I'm really I was really excited to film this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it so if you want more style tips from me um, please make sure to subscribe and tune in for more videos I'm gonna be uploading some more soon so look out for that and I'll see you guys soon bye